The state of Wyoming has emerged as the reddest in the country, with a larger share of voters rooting for Republicans than anywhere else. Now, many see the Democrats as, as having no hope of winning the state. Mm. Uh, it's part of a, a bigger problem for the Democratic Party, which is seeing declining numbers in some of the most rural regions of America. But one area of the state is seeing rising tensions as more Democrats move in to changing voting patterns and traditions. The Carper visited Jackson Hall in Wyoming to find out more. In Wyoming, you're never far from three things, horses, cowboys, and Republicans. Philip Wilson is a lifelong Republican in the US's reddest state. His great-grandparents were among the first white settlers in this part of the country back in the late 1800s. That's my wife's elk, that's my elk, that's the first elk I ever killed, and that's my moose, that's her moose. His house is like a living museum for the state's history as much as his own. This brand, this came into the valley originally in 1889. It's kind of like me and my wife, it's all old. <laughs> and that history and heritage comes with a certain set of values. Cowboys have a drawing to, to each other because they have a particular lifestyle. And so as cowboys and being here in Wyoming, it, it's home to us. With millions of acres of wilderness and wide open spaces, it's easy to feel lost in the landscape of Wyoming. It's the 10th largest U.S. state, but the least populated. What do you love about Wyoming? I love the freedom of the place. I love that people here are live and let live. 70% of Wyoming voted Republican in the 2020 presidential election. Longtime resident Rebecca Bextel was among them, but she feels the Wyoming way of life is under threat from Democrats moving into the state. We have extremely wealthy people from California, Chicago, and San Francisco that move here part-time and then eventually retire. And when they get here, they vote the same horrible policies and the same horrible politicians into office here for the places that they just fled because they have high crime, high taxes, um, rampant illegal immigration and crime. The influx has seen housing prices skyrocket, with an average single-family home now topping $7 million. Across so much of Wyoming, those Republican politics and values, well, they're quite simply a way of life. Here in Jackson Hole, though, things are a little different. Here, there are determined Democrats trying to get their message heard. Natalia Duncan Macker is a rare thing in Wyoming. She's an elected Democrat. She represents Teton County, one of the only two places in the entire state with strong Democrat support. Originally from Tennessee, it's taken her time to get in step with the state. Certainly some of the policies that I would like to see passed, like um, stronger support for early childhood education and childcare, um, paid family leave, addressing the gender wage gap might be easier somewhere else, um, but I always love a good challenge. Um, and I love where I live and love our community and love the people in our state. And so I want to work hard. Um, and I do think that we have more in common than not. Statewide, though, Democrats are dwindling. In some counties, they account for fewer than 3% of voters. And in this election, the number of Democrats running for local government is at an almost 30-year low. Even so, true blue Teton County is bucking the trend. It became a haven during the pandemic for remote workers, attracted by the scenery and some of the lowest taxes nationwide. You couldn't get elected here in this county years ago unless you were a Republican. Now it's the other way around. And when it comes to changing the values that I have and the, and the older people of this community, uh, we're pretty set in our ways. How is it living amongst so many Democrats? I do okay. <laughs> I, um, I hold my own. I'm very proud to be a Republican. I have a Trump sign in my yard, so it's easy to know where I live in East Jackson. Um, I'm very proud of what I believe. And I believe that President Trump is going to save this country. The changing demographics seem at odds with the old way of life, creating an uneasy partnership. Thankfully, in a state, though, with enough space to go around. Nick Harper, CNA, Jackson Hole, Wyoming.